Hey guys, Big Ed here with Bass Angler Magazine, and we got a little. We have a story that we're going to tell you a little bit about, um, and it's the, with the Apex Cup. So, what happens is after the event, uh, we don't know if it's random or if it's just how it is working this time. But first and second place are going in. They have to have lie detector tests, and now fifth place also. So, Bass Angler Magazine owner. Mark Lassane, uh and myself are down here and we're going to be going into getting a uh, lie detector test. I'm not actually getting it, just him. Uh, so I'm going to interview him a little bit here. We're going to talk about uh, what's actually going to happen in here. And then we're going to talk to him afterwards. So you guys can have a little bit of idea of kind of the process that apex is going through to actually make sure that these tournaments are run very professionally, very legit, you know, so that you they understand that. So, uh, I'll bring Mark in and we'll start talking a little bit about this. So Mark, hey guys. <laughs> so you kind of got the notice that all of a sudden you had to come down here and get a lie detector test. Right. Right. And so you're not really sure if it's random or if it's just the way they're doing it or how it is, but you, you're, you're part of the, the process at this point. Right. I just, you know, I just, I think what it is first and second and then random from the top 10. That's kind of what I think. I don't know. Nobody told me, um, uh, but I am actually happy that Wild West is doing this. You know, I was, I got the call and it wasn't like I'm, oh my God, I'm nervous. I have to take a lie detector test. I'm like, you know what? That's really cool that they're doing that, making this legit and, uh, you know, making sure everything's on the up and up and everybody is on the up and up and, and things are done right. So for me, uh, um, you know, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. That's, uh, I guess we'll kind of find out a little bit more. You know, once we come out and uh, we don't know how much we can tell you afterwards or before, you know, this is going to be the lead up. So, you know, it's kind of be a little bit of a surprise for for you. I'm going to be just waiting outside till this happens. And then uh, we'll we'll kind of go further with that. We'll talk to see if I'm going to see if I can interview. Um, I'm going to pull. I'm going to see if I can interview the the lie detector test guy. I don't know if we can tell you what the questions were. I don't know what we can do, what we're what we're allowed to do. But I will do everything that I'm allowed to do. Right, <laughs> so right. If I can do it, I'm going to do it. You know that. So um, whatever he gets done and whatever whatever we can do, we're going to definitely share it with you guys because we think it's important that you know out there that you guys know what's going on with the Apex, how they're running it, how it's done, and um, yeah, I mean this what is, the, this, is this, this is right. This is just a professional step in this whole process. Right. You know so, what he what he did tell me. Uh, when you're on the, you know, we're on the phone. He goes, this is not like a voice analysis, just a stress test. He goes, this is an actual real lie detector test. I'm going to hook you up. We're going to check. You know, we do. a, a I, I don't know. I haven't had one before. So I, I'm just assuming from like what I've seen on TV, they gonna put a bunch of wires on me and and then ask me a series of questions. So. Um, so, you know, we're going to see you. We're, we're all going to learn here and yeah. uh, kind of see how it is. So. Here we go for our lie detector test. We're here in Sacramento, California with the lie detector guy. Yeah. I don't remember his name, but we'll it's all right. I'll get it here. for you. Trust me. We'll, we'll, I'll get everything I can. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in for this part. Uh, there should be a little transition here in a second. <laughs> maybe uh, we'll maybe a Bass Angler commercial. Yeah. And then, we'll, <laughs> and then we'll bring you back and show you kind of what the results and all that stuff were. So, all right. All right. Tired of searching through ads to find bass articles in your favorite fishing magazine? Well, we have a solution for that. Introducing Bass Angler Magazine with over 30 articles in every issue, filled with tips and techniques to help you catch more fish. Follow the pros as they publish the most up-to-date seasonal methods to catching bigger bass. Whether you're a beginner or professional angler, make Bass Angler Magazine part of your gear today. Be a part of the fastest growing bass publication in the nation. Log on to BassAnglerMag.com with code TV and save 20% when you subscribe now. Here it is. This is the chair we're going to strap Mark into. I get to come up and get some video work of it, but this is where he's going to go. I mean, that, that doesn't look like a death chair. I don't know what is. So we're going to we're going to have some fun with him. But um, just in case you were wondering, I'm not sure how in depth this is, but that's a big bottle of lube right there for Mark. All right. Well, here's Mark. This is <laughs> this is ah. Mark all strapped up, ready to go, <laughs> so you guys can see everything. There was a lot of words that described those. There was a lot of words that described those. That's a blood pressure cuff. Electrical sensors. So. <laughs> yeah, breathing <laughs> sensors. Blood pressure sensor. Right. So I heard everything. I'm videoing everything. I don't know what he said. So 
Here it is. He's ready to go. They're going to ask him the questions. I'm going to leave. So we'll come back when it's all said and done. Okay, so I just left the room. Mark's in there. He's going to get his um, lie detector test done. So for most of the purposes, I can't put the guy who's doing it on camera. Um, for per that's, that's his. He can't. He, it's just his thing. So don't take that for what it is. We're in the hotel here. And um, yeah, we're just going to go down. I'm going to go wait for him to come out. Um, he said it was basically just four questions, so it shouldn't take that long. And then we'll be back out and have, um, he should know the results today. So I'm not sure if I can tell you what the results are today, but we'll, um, if I can, I can, and I will. So, uh, but it's kind of up to what Wild West wants more or, or Apex wants more than anything else. So, um, all right, that's where we're at. Tired of searching through ads to find bass articles in your favorite fishing magazine? Well, we have a solution for that. Introducing Bass Angler Magazine with over 30 articles in every issue, filled with tips and techniques to help you catch more fish. Follow the pros as they publish the most up-to-date seasonal methods to catching bigger bass. Whether you're a beginner or professional angler, make Bass Angler Magazine part of your gear today. Be a part of the fastest growing bass publication in the nation. Log on to BassAnglerMag.com with code TV and save 20% when you subscribe now. All right, guys. Well, just everything finally wrapped up. Um, <laughs> it took a little while to get it done, but got it done. And it's a little later at night, so I don't think we can go into the questions that were asked. Um, but we can talk to Mark. And I think, I don't know. What do you think? Can you tell him whether you passed or failed? What do you think? I passed. Okay. So passed. passed. So, yeah, I want to. You know, I want to. I want to <laughs> ask the question, but. Um, so, you know, what was your overall experience with it? What did you, you know, what did you think? Were you nervous going in? Were you, cause you just didn't know what, what was the, what was your overall feeling? You know, I wasn't nervous going in, but it seems like, you know, once I got hooked up on the chair and he put all the sensors on me and, and everything. And then we went through, you know, we went through questions and then he would actually have me lie on a few questions so he could check and see what the responses were. Um, to you know to compare those against the questions he asked you know about uh, the tournament fishing so uh, you know in doing the whole thing I'm I'm thinking well what if I answer the questions truthfully and it shows that I'm lying you know and so I was pretty I was a little worried about that part of it um, so but we went back and forth and I, I did pass and I have to say that um, the the technician was very thorough about um, the testing and how they did it. They run the same test three times, you know, sequential to make sure that you pass. So you get a score every time and, you know, it's a, it's a plus or a minus and a minus would be you're lying and a plus would mean, you know, that you're truthful. And fortunately I was plus on all three tests. Um, so, that's you know that's kind of the way it, it worked it was you get a score for these three tests and um you know you either pass or fail um, but i have to say it's pretty thorough and it seemed like uh it was very uh it was it was educational and i think it was it was good okay Does so um would you say overall that you're you think this is a good thing to, that you have to go through this after major events like this I, I definitely do I think you know I, I don't I don't know I mean I've heard and know of some people that have cheated in tournaments and it would be nice if they were brought out brought into the light and somebody went hey you know that's what happened and, and some sort of sanctions against people that did you know actually cheat in an event but at the same time you know these are not admissible in court unless it's agreed upon by all parties and everything so uh, yeah, and you know, and, and people don't have to submit to this. It isn't, it, it's still not law. You know, you don't you know, have I to submit I, to these. I, you know, maybe there needs to be some sort of writing in mm -hmm. a contract or, you know, when you sign up the entry, you have to abide by these rules. And, not, you know, I have to say that it was, it was a very thorough test. And he showed me, you know, they did, you know, they do a blood pressure check and they do a, a check. Uh, electromagnetic check that checks for sweat because when you lie your veins constrict and then you sweat a little bit and it measures electronically uh, that through two fingers um, also measures your breathing 
and measures your blood pressure. And he said, if if it was like a criminal instance, they have more sensors that when you sit on, when you put your feet on this, so you can even go a couple steps further. But it was a very thorough test and he showed me, okay, here's where you were lying and here's where you were not. You know, cause they actually have make you lie you know, or you know, they they ask you a question and tell you to lie on that so they can see the response. And you'd see the response mm -hmm. on every time that happened, and then on the questions he answered truthfully, you can see how it is. And and he would show me, he goes, Okay, well, here's where you started your answer, and it looks like maybe you were thinking about something and then you figured it out, and then on it went down. And he said that was good. All right, everybody. Well, as you can see, we're no longer in the truck or out anywhere. Um, Mark's not here anymore. And uh, some of the sound on the video apparently cut out at the end there. So I wanted to just touch base with you a little bit on the end. And I'll wrap this thing up myself. Um, so basically, I talked to the person giving the, giving the test. He was not able to give us his name, you know, didn't want it out there. He's, uh, does some undercover work, does some other stuff and he's trying to get this business going. So really couldn't go into that. Uh, also as far as the test goes, yes, it was Mark passed. Everything was, uh, went well and it, uh, it, it turned out good. He was actually very happy with the results Very very happy with the way it was performed, very happy with the fact that um it it actually went through <laughs> you know that the test happened and people um you know this is going to be in the future for apex so as far as this goes uh mark seemed to be very happy with it. he was okay with it he was you know on board i had talked to uh austin wilson he said the same thing you know he was okay, very much okay with this you know being a regular thing with the apex it did um become very random uh when i talked to the gentleman giving the test he said yes it was a random draw uh on who actually had to take the test or who was going to take the test so mark was just part of the randomness to that um obviously first place you know second place was was not the random part but the last one was random so uh, Mark got drawn on that, which is actually good because it gave us a chance to kind of share this with you. Uh, as far as uh, how everything went, how long it took, you know, it was it took about an hour, hour and a half. He went in, sat down, and came back out, and everything seemed to be uh, pretty good. So, yeah, well, thanks for tuning in on this. We really appreciate you. We wanted to bring you something that was a little different, maybe walk you through a little bit of the process, you know, with it, and show you that. Uh, you know, these guys are more than on board with, you know, having to take these tests and do the things they did, at least the ones that we've talked to so far, Ken Ma, um, Ken Ma, Austin Wilson, and Mark Lesane. So yeah, as far as that goes, you know, it was good. So thanks again for tuning in and, uh, go check out some of our other videos. We've got a ton of them out there. Uh, don't forget to tune in the podcast and the video cast on YouTube and all right. Thanks all for tuning in. Hmm.